Hi, this is Dan Tisser with Mike Ward Infinity. Thanks so much for stopping by. What I have behind me is a 2021 Infinity Q50 Red Sport. Going to do a little bit of a walk around video on it for you and uh, go into a little bit deeper things that we normally don't see from other automotive journalists. Going to go deep into the engine, chassis, suspension, brakes, and performance driving aids. Let's go take a deeper look. <music> This is the VR30 DDTT engine from Infiniti, first launched in 2015 in the Q50 sedan and then followed by the Q60 coupe in 2016. This particular engine is rated at 400 horsepower, 350 foot pound of torque. It is a twin turbo. The turbos are compact twin direct mount turbos with integrated exhaust manifolds. They're extremely difficult to see. They're actually on the side of the engine. They're very small. Infinity claims that they have the highest turbine speed of any production turbocharger going all the way up to 240,000 RPM. This is an air to liquid intercooler. Those are the intercoolers right here. The reason for this is that you're not charging a large intake plumbing into the front to mount it in a cooler on the top. Uh, helps reduce turbo lag. This is what is called the front midship position of the engine. The center line of the engine is behind the center line of the front axle. It provides optimum weight distribution for optimized handling. This is the shock tower. You look at the engine, it's actually pretty far back. Weight distribution is still front biased, but just barely. Also with a double engine compartment bulkhead. A second bulkhead at the rear of the engine compartment serves as additional cross member. So what they actually do is they put the battery in here which isolates it from heat and better weight distribution. Also keeps your battery terminals clean. So much a way that a strut tower brace would increase rigidity of the engine compartment. So is this double bulkhead as well. This example of the Red Sport is equipped with Infiniti's all-wheel drive system, better known as a TEZA, which stands for Advanced Total Traction Engineering System for All-Terrain. The electronic torque split ETS was first debuted in 1989 in the Skyline GTR R32. You can always tell a Red Sport out in the wild because it does have a red Akebono brake, same brakes that are on the McLaren P1. If you do see that same four-piston caliper in front, and it's in the silver, then you know you have a 300 horsepower version of this sport. What we call a 300 sport or a silver sport. Vented disc brakes all around. Two pistons in the rear with the red caliper. There's a lot of different options in tunability that come with Infinity in their drive mode selector. Personal mode, which I'll go into deeper in just a moment. Sport Plus makes everything much more reactive to throttle response, hold gear shifts longer. Sport mode backs that off just a little bit. Snow mode, all the way goes down here, will soften up your throttle response. Uh, won't give you all that 400 horsepower that you need uh, when it's snowy out. In the personal mode, the user has the ability to change the engine, transmission, steering, suspension, active trace control, and the ability, of course, to reset everything as well. So when you user goes into the personal mode, what is programmed down here will then be applied to the personal drive mode selector. Also under suspension settings, you can utilize the digital dynamic suspension. There's a standard that provides a soft flat ride on rough smooth roads and sport minimizes body lean and enhances stability when cornering. Active trace control is a little known driver's aid from Infinity that helps with sport driving. When cornering, the system helps enhance the transition from braking to accelerating by applying brake pressure to increase the load of the front wheel. In side-to-side -side turns other and other steering maneuvers, it engages the brakes on one side of the vehicle to help the vehicle turn. Active trace controls engage automatically whether the driver is applying the brakes or not. When in sport mode or even sport plus is engaged, a level of active trace control assistance is reduced. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Any comments or questions that you have, please leave them below. I read everything, any particular product questions, I try to get to and answer the best of my ability. Thanks so much for stopping by and taking a look.